welcome back to a new video episode on chemistry made easy with bright edu in today's video lesson i'll be teaching on how to convert grams to mole now it must be noted that grams basically is the express of given with a symbol and it is g and these grams is same as same mass so it must be noted in chemistry the mass most times is expressed in grams, not in kilograms. Most times is expressed in grams, not in kilograms. So in the course of today's lesson, we'll be learning on how to convert grams to mole. And there is a simple formula that must be noted. And what is the formula? It is simply this. N is equal to mass over molar mass mass over molar mass now here n is number of moles n is number of moles and n basically is the mass and molar mass here is the basically the molar mass of the element or the molar mass of the compound now this formula is very very important in converting moles to grams or mass now let's quickly solve this first question written on the board the question says how many moles of calcium atom how many moles of calcium atom are present in 30 grams of calcium now it must be noted that calcium is given with a symbol ca and also the molar mass is 40 grams per mole now the question is asking us to calculate the number of moles of calcium atom present in 30 grams of carbon and we already know the formula to apply which is number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass so what we simply do here is just to say what is the mass given in the question the mass of calcium it is 30 grams and what is the molar mass of calcium the molar mass of calcium it is 40 grams per mole now, they are asking us to calculate number of moles, which is N. So we simply say number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. The mass here is 30 grams over the molar mass of calcium is 40 grams per mole. So grams cancels grams. So 30 over 40, one person in calculator, you get... Zero point seven five moles. So basically, you can see here that whenever we are asked to calculate mole and we'll be given gram, we just simply use the formula, which is number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. And the mass in the question is thirty grams, and the molar mass of calcium is forty grams per mole. So here, grams cancels gram, remaining mole, so which forms the SI unit for the number of moles. So you can see how problems on that aspect have been tackled now let's quickly move over to the next question now let's quickly move over to the second question and the question says calculate the mass of sodium present in 0.083 moles of sodium now now the question is asking us to calculate mass and they gave us number of moles and they gave us the element to get the molar mass so it is very easy and this is the formula to be applied in converting grams to mole or moles to gram and in the course of this question they are asking us to calculate mass so we'll make it x and the number of moles in the question is already given to be 0 0.083 moles and the molar mass of the element is given to be 23 grams per mole. So in the course of the formula, we simply make what we are asked to calculate subject of formula, which is mass. So we cross multiply. So mass becomes N times molar mass. So what is mass? One person I'll calculate. What is the N, which is the number of moles? It is 0 0.083 moles times what's the molar mass? The molar mass basically here is 23 grams per mole, okay? 
23 grams per mole. So here, cancel, mole cancel the moles. So mass becomes 0 0.083 times 0.3, we get uh, 1.909. Okay, we get um, 1.909 grams. So you can see this is the mass of sodium present in 0 0.083 moles of sodium. Now, this is how questions under this aspect are being tackled. Now, let's quickly move over to the next question. Now, let's quickly move over to the third question. Now, this question says, calculate the mass of glucose present in 4.06 moles of glucose. Now, this question is very easy. Whenever they are asked, you are asked to calculate this type of question, what will come to your mind is the formula. And the formula is simply number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. And secondly, the equation is asking us to calculate mass. Okay? And also, they gave us the number of moles in the question, which is 4.06 moles. So, what we do next is to try and determine the chemical formula of glucose. Now, the chemical formula of glucose is basically C6H12O6. Six, whereby carbon has an atomic mass of 12, hydrogen 1, and oxygen 16. So basically, we simply calculate the molar mass of this compound. And the atomic mass of carbon is 12. And we are having how many atoms of carbon? We are having 6 atoms. So 12 times 6 plus hydrogen atomic mass 1 times how many? 12 plus oxygen atomic mass 16 times how many? 6. So basically, when we hit this now, calculator, we get the molar mass of carbon, uh, glucose to be 180 grams per mole. So this is the molar mass of glucose, okay? This is the molar mass of glucose. So next, the question is asking of gain mass. So make mass subject of formula by cross multiplying. So making mass subject of formula, it becomes n times molar mass. So what happens next is, what is the number of moles? The number of moles in the question is 4.06 times the molar mass, which is 180 grams per mole. Okay, 180 grams per mole. What happened? Mole cancels mole. So we get our mass of glucose present in 4.06 moles to be, that's 4.06 times 180. That is 730.8 grams. So this is the mass of glucose present in 4.06 moles of glucose. Now the next question here, you'll be the one to solve it and you provide the answer in the comment section below. And also after that question, we move over to another aspect under this concept. Now this is the next question you'll be solving and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now the question says, calculate the number of moles present in 20 grams of creolite. Now, it must be noted that creolite has a chemical formula and it is Na3ALF6. Okay, this is something you must take note of. And creolite is one of the ores of aluminum. Okay, creolite is one of the ores for aluminum. We have other ores for aluminum like, like, like likes of bauxite, like likes of corundium, like likes of kaolin, and likes of mecca. Okay. But creolite is one of the all for aluminum. We have other oils for aluminum, like likes of bauxite. Okay, we have likes of corundium. We have likes of uh, mecca, and we have likes of kaolin. And bauxite has a chemical formula: it's Al two O three dot two eight two O. While corundium is just bauxite without water, so it is Al two O three. So these are the oils for aluminum. But in the in this question, you'll be solving for the number of moles present in 20 grams of creolite. And this is chemical formula of creolite. And also, um, this bauxite is the major ore, or one of the main oil for aluminum. is the major or the main oil for aluminum. So you solve this question and provide the answer in the comment section below. So let's quickly move over to other aspects 
under this concept now this is the other part on this video which basically talks about how to calculate number of moles of a particular element in a compound now this is what i mean if you check the other questions we'll be solving you can see if they want to ask calculate the number of moles of a particular element of that same element that's how it's, that's how the questions are being asked but in this concept you can see here that they are asking us to calculate the number of moles of carbon present in the full compound so before it was like carbon present in carbon but now it is carbon present in this full compound and the compound contains carbon so here what do we do is very easy so the question is asking us to calculate the number of moles of carbon present in 150 grams of CaCO3 and basically, since they're asking us to get number of moles and they're asking us to get N, make it X, okay? And um, the molar mass or the atomic mass of carbon is 12 grams per mole. You can write it 12 grams per mole. But we cannot put the mass because this mass, basically given the equation, is 150 and it is for the full compound. But the question is specific. The question says, calculate the mass of just carbon present in 150 grams of the compound. So what we simply do here is to extract the mass of carbon from this compound. So it's done like this. So we simply say mass of carbon. To calculate it, you just say mass of carbon is equal to molar mass of carbon over molar mass of the full compound, which is CaCO3, times mass of CaCO3. Now, this is how it is done. Whenever they are asking us to calculate the number of moles of a particular element in a compound, this is what we do first. We simply extract the mass of that element in that compound. Now, you can see for carbon in this case, we simply say, say molar mass of carbon over the molar mass of the full compound times mass of CaCO3. That is how it is done. So, for, for example, we are asked to calculate the number of moles of oxygen present in, let's say here is 30 grams, okay? Let's, they are asked us to calculate the number of moles of oxygen present in 30 grams of this full compound. What we simply do first is to extract the mass of oxygen. So, it's done like this. Just say mass of oxygen is equal to molar mass of oxygen. But in this case, we write it the way it is written in the compound. It will be O4 because we are having how many atoms of oxygen? Four atoms over the molar mass of the full compound, which is H2SO4, times mass of the full compound, which is H2SO4. That is how it is done, as seen in the case of carbon. Because carbon exists as just one atom, that's why we just wrote it like that. If it's like oxygen in this case, which is four, you write it like that there and solve for it. So that's how it is done. So basically, we simply impute parameters. So how do we get the mass of carbon now? How do we get the mass of carbon? Is by saying the molar mass of carbon in the question is 12 grams per mole over the molar mass of the full compound. So let's do that and calculate. So CaCO3, what is the atomic mass of carbon? Calcium, 40. Carbon, 12. Oxygen, 16 times 3. So what we hit our calculator, we get 100 grams per mole as the molar mass of the full compound. Here is uh, 12 grams per mole for the molar mass of carbon over the molar mass of the full compound, which is 100 grams per mole, times the mass of CaCO3. What's the mass of CaCO3 given the question? It is 150 grams. Okay? So what becomes the mass of carbon? We'll press it in our calculator. So it becomes 12 over 100 times 150. That is 18 grams. So in the full compound, we are having 18 grams of carbon. So is this 18 grams we are to we are to impute here in place of the mass of carbon because the question is specific calculate the number of moles of carbon, not the number of moles of the full compound. If they were asking calculate the number of moles of the full compound, we don't need to pass through. But if they are asking us to calculate the the number of moles of a, of an element in the compound, we solve for the mass of the element first before we now impute it into the normal formula and get our answer. Now since we've gotten the mass of carbon to be 18 grams per mole. We simply come here to calculate the number of moles of carbon. The number of moles is what the asking us to get, so it is x. And the mass of carbon now in this case is 18 grams. And the molar mass of carbon does not change. It's 40 grams. Sorry, it's 12 grams per mole. 
So the formula becomes number of moles is equals to mass over molar mass. Now the mass is 18 grams because they are specific for, for carbon. If it was for the full compound, it would be 150 grams. But if it's for carbon, it's 18 grams. So 18 grams over the molar mass of carbon, which is 12 grams per mole. Grams cancels grams. So basically what becomes the number of moles of carbon present in the compound? So it becomes 18 over 12. Basically, that is 1.5 moles. 1.5 moles of carbon. So basically, this is how questions under this aspect are being tackled. So this is the correct answer to the question. So I'll be putting another question here. So you try and solve the question and put the answer in the comment section below. So now this is the question you will be solving and you provide the answer in the comment section below. Now if you check the question carefully, the question says calculate the number of moles of sulfur present in 200 grams of H2S2O7. Now, it must be noted that this compound is popularly called oleum. But that is not what they're asking us to get. What the question is asking us to get is number of moles of sulfur present in 200 grams of this compound. So, basically, you will calculate for the number of moles. But before you do that, you don't just say number of moles, which is mass of a molar mass, and just say, okay, the mass is 200 over molar mass of sulfur, which is 32. No, it is not done like that. What you simply do first of all, is to extract the mass of sulfur from this compound. I told you when you want to extract the mass of sulfur, you just say mass of sulfur is equal to molar mass of sulfur. And in this case, sulfur exists as two atoms. So you have to you have to times because the atomic mass of sulfur is 32. So molar mass of sulfur becomes 32 times 2 over the molar mass of the full compound, which you calculate for, times the mass of the full compound, which is 200 grams. So when you do that, you simply get the mass of sulfur present in this compound and you then go ahead to calculate for the number of moles present in so, uh, the number of moles of sulfur present in this compound. It is very easy. So follow the steps I give and you get the answer without stress. So if you like this video, do well to subscribe to this channel and share my video with your friends. Thank you very much.